No one was injured. October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month, and local agencies are doing their part to put a spotlight on survivors and their stories. News 3's Andrew Davis is in the Lowcountry newsroom with how they hope one woman's experience will inspire others. Hopeful Horizons in Beaufort has helped more than 13,000 victims of domestic abuse and violence last year alone. They say this year those numbers are even rising, which is why stories on men and women who aren't just surviving but feel they are thriving are so important. I'm proud to say, okay, God's using me to heal to help others heal. That wasn't the way Joanne Davis Taylor felt just a few years ago. Dealing with abuse from loved ones since she was seven years old became just a normal part of her life. The secret keeping and the pretending that nothing's happening in your home, um, that all is well, all those things set me up to be the secretive person. So by the time I was in an abusive relationship as an adult, it was an, I was a natural. As the years went on, it became harder to be natural, though, and hide that pain. The pattern of choosing people who would be abusive, because that's all I knew. I was contemplating killing the abuser when I would have killed him. I knew it's time to go. It's time for me to get some help. So at age 33, she was able to leave, escape, get some help from people who understand. Groups and homes like places like Hopeful Horizons who could give me tools. They gave me an education. They gave me security. They gave me safety. And so I could let go of all the shame and the blame. That's why she put her own face out there for all to see part of Hopeful in front of the Beaufort Municipal Complex. I hope to s that our pictures will inspire other people to talk about this, to go get help, to know that you're not alone and that you're a lovable human being, that the things that happened to you did not define who you are, that you can survive and thrive. Now, Hopeful Horizons, who sponsored the mural, received $32 million recently in federal and state's grants to help out people just like Joanne. If you are in need of help, we have resources for you around the Lowcountry and the Coastal Empire, all on our website, wscv.com slash crisis hotline. Andrew Davis, WSAV News 3 on